think it's murder. I mean, clearly it's murder. What can I do to help? Yeah, that's me. But February, I mean, that was months ago. What's that got to do with Simon's murder? <laughs> Simon, Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. They do windows, all kinds of glass. Simon does the more special work, mirror making, feature windows, artistic things, really beautiful things. Hmm. Simon, Simon Smith. He works at Ernst Brothers Glass. Ernst Brothers Glass. Um, Simon is six foot, darkish blonde hair, average build, um, he's clean shaven, <laughs> if his beard grows it goes ginger so he shaves it, I mean not that there's anything wrong with ginger hair, uh, and bought a photo, they said a spring photo. This was taken last year on holiday in Rome. It's the best one I have. <laughs> it's the Rockington Arms, the rock. It's run by a nice couple, Peter and Susan. There's some other regulars there that Simon likes to drink with, and the barmaid they're having sometimes. Yes, there's an Amstrad one. No one uses it for very much. There's a printer so you can write letters on it. Simon sometimes plays games, you know, climb the tower, save the princess, that kind of thing. Simon isn't the type to run off or do anything crazy. Someone must have done something to him or there must have been some kind of accident. So what do we do next? I didn't murder Simon. You've got it wrong. You've got the wrong person. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other, just that. Stories.
Okay, you got me. I'll confess. We were there. It was a dirty weekend. Simon was going to expense it, pretend it was a business trip. I used a made-up name. We stayed at the hotel, had room service, didn't leave the room. Had a great view of the river, and you could hear the church bells. Like you said, it was very romantic. Yes. I drove in here because I remember well I went over the river and then there was a church there. Yeah. And I probably part well I remember seeing a street sign called Princess Street. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure it must be this one. There. No, um, I was 15, Carl was older, 17 I think. I was really into him, regardless of how he actually behaved. Lots of drunken teenage sex. We did it in a church once, it was stupid. So he got tired of us and we split up after about six months. It was sad, but those early experiences, they help you realise who's really important to you, you know? Family. <laughs> was he my first? No need to be so coy. No, he wasn't my first. That would have been Carl. He was a local boy in a band. He was a bit of a shit. But he was sexy. <laughs> we were 15. Family. So, Carl fucked off. And then there were other boys here and there. And then, Simon. Differences? She's a better driver than me. She passed the test for us. I tried to take it and nearly crash the car. <laughs> Learned that you can't rely on confidence to get you through everything. Mm, she is the shy one. She was especially shy around boys. If Hannah liked a boy, I would have to pursue him. It was that way with Carl. Hannah met him first. She had such a crush. My name is Hannah. H-A-N-N-A-H. -N -N it's Pandre. It reads the same backwards as forwards. It doesn't work from here, though. It's not quite symmetrical, but well, I mean, you get the idea. Sorry. Hannah Smith, I live at 31 Gladstone Street. Yes, my name is Hannah Smith. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sorry.
Across the road, where my parents first lived there, was a midwife called Florence. When Hannah was born, I was born at the same time. The midwife was there to help. I'd been throttled by the cord, probably wrapped around my neck by Hannah. The midwife told my mother I was dead. But I wasn't. She wrote all this stuff in a diary. Amazing what people will admit to on paper. Mm. She recognised me from the window. Well, my friend Eve. I mean, she was a friend from when I was a kid. And she was always more popular with the boys, and I used to hate her for it. I mean, really hate her sometimes. Yes, we'd fight. We fought on the beach once, and I held Eve's head underwater. There was no one else around. It was at the far end of the beach. And I held her head under and I kept it out. And for a moment, I just wanted to kill her and watch her drown. But that was it. It was just a moment. We made up afterwards. It was a love-hate relationship. Police station. Yeah, when I was young, we ran away on my birthday. Bob Dylan was playing in London and we thought we could break into his store.